believe that this painting shows hints of a love story that ended in tragedy? What does it mean, a tragedy? Could it have something to do with the weird expression of this man in red sitting next to the young lady? What would be the type of tragedy? An accident? A crime? Is it this man trying to kick the dog? I'm not sure yet. But I find it suspicious that this old lady is looking at the couple sitting at the end of the table. Does she know something? Weird. Isabella is one of the earliest paintings of the pre-Raphaelite movement, painted by John Everett Millay in 1849. The scene depicted by the painting shows a group of people sitting at a table, sharing a meal. In the right corner, you can see a young woman sitting at the edge of the table, receiving a blood orange from the man sitting next to her. It seems like a very common and ordinary scene, but it only looks that way. That's not the reality. Do you see the man sitting across the young woman? He's cracking a walnut with his hands as he leans over his chair, stretching out his leg to kick the dog. The poor, helpless animal looks frightened as it curls up against the woman's feet. This is an awful move to see. Besides the angry man, there are two other men sitting. They seem calmer, almost smug as if they are aware of some secret or are hiding something themselves. Pay attention to the man holding a glass of wine. Why is he sneaking glances at the man offering oranges to the woman? Perhaps they're suspicious about this act? Well, to really understand what's happening in this mysterious scene, you first need to know the story behind it. See if this will make more sense. The painting Isabella, also known as Lorenzo and Isabella or the Basil Pot, is based on a poem by John Keats, which in turn is based on a story by Italian writer Boccaccio. The poem declaims the love between Isabella, daughter of wealthy Florentine merchants, and her apprentice Lorenzo. Isabella had three brothers who intended to marry her off to a wealthy local man in order to strengthen the family business. One day, the brothers find out about the previously secret relationship and decide to end Lorenzo's life. After the consummation of this sad act, Isabella finds the body of her beloved, and driven mad by this, she cuts off Lorenzo's head and buries it in a pot of basil and waters it with her tears. Now the painting is starting to make more sense, right? The vibrant colors, sharp lines, and adapted medieval style puts you in the line of fire between Isabella and Lorenzo's sexual tension and her brother's aggression. The painting structure is made with a deliberately distorted perspective, which makes the right side of the table the longest. Did you notice this? The man with the bizarre expression and offering oranges is Lorenzo. The woman next to him is, of course, Isabella, who gladly receives the blood oranges offered by her beloved. The orange cut in half acts as a symbol for the crime that is yet to happen, in reference to Lorenzo's head that will be cut off by Isabella, and his blood that will be spilled. The angry man who kicks the dog is one of Isabella's brothers, who clearly seems to already know about the love story between Lorenzo and his sister, so he can't contain his anger. Next to him are the two other brothers, who also already know everything but are more restrained, just watching the couple from afar, probably planning the sinister act that'll follow. In this painting, Millet made a juxtaposition between colors and tones creating an exaggerated intensity. Notice the servant, the only standing figure in the scene, and how the white towel under his arm is nicely contrasted with the black robe he wears. Unlike his legs, which are covered by yellow stockings, and seem to merge with the color of the floor and the balustrade marble base. Another interesting feature that I need to mention is how Millet painted each of the people in the painting distinctly. There are also pre-Raphaelite characteristics, such as attention to detail, the inclusion of images and patterns within the picture as a whole, and hidden symbolism. But what are these symbolism? To begin with, experts claim that there are, for example, some phallic symbols hidden in the image, especially around the angry brother. Can you identify where they are? Perhaps the easiest to notice are in the shadow of the table, near the man's groin, below his elbow, and in his body language. Now, look at the plates on the table. How fascinating. Each one has its own exquisite pattern. So do the Maholica plates, each with a distorted glazed image on the surface. Look also at the bench where Isabella is sitting. The base of it shows an intricate carving, depicting a kneeling figure. Below, you see the letters PRB, which stands for the Pre-Raphaelite Brotherhood. Did you know that this is one of the first paintings in which these initials appear? It's amazing! The people sitting at the table are part of a group that is fleeing from Florence 
a city plague-stricken. This narrative is directly inspired by Boccaccio's story, The Cameron. As I said before, each person at the table is different from the others. It looks very realistic because, in fact, Millet used well-known people as models to paint them. His half-brother's wife was a model for Isabella. Lorenzo's model was the brother of the Italian artist Dante Rossetti, William Rossetti. Dante himself is the model of the man on the far right, who is holding a goblet of wine near his mouth. The older man on the right side of the table, who is dabbing his mouth, is Millet's own father, John William Millet. Walter Deverell, a fellow artist and student of Dante Rossetti, and Frederick Stephens, an art critic, are the models for the two calm brothers. The brother who kicks the dog, on the other hand, is inspired by the memory of John Harris, a boy who had bullied John Millet when the two were studying at the Royal Academy schools. Lorenzo and Isabella's love here is represented by the white rose and the passion flower, which are intertwined in the arch above the heads of the two. The sharing of the blood orange between them also suggests a cordial relationship. The dog, who rests his head on Isabella's lap, is a sign of Lorenzo's devotion oh, to her, yeah. and the kick he receives symbolizes the older brother's feelings of anger, not directed at the dog in reality, but at Lorenzo. You gradually realize that Lorenzo's death is announced in some of the details of the painting, in addition to the blood orange and the suspicious reactions of the brothers. The ruddy color of the wine being drunk by one of the brothers is a symbol of Lorenzo's blood that will be shed for them. Another symbol is the hawk, which appears perched on the back of an empty chair, pecking at a white feather, which is a symbol of peace. See also below the nearest brother's arm, where there is a salt cellar lying on its side, and the salt, which is considered a symbol of life, is scattered on the tablecloth. If you look at the bottom of the painting, you can see on top of the balustrade a large pot containing basil. Could this be the pot in which Isabella will place the head of her beloved Lorenzo? Do you remember that I briefly mentioned that in this painting, the Mahalika plates show different images? So on one of them, you can see the scene of David beheading Goliath, and on another plate, it shows an eagle pecking Prometheus's entails. Although it depicts a tense moment that was soon to be tragedy, Isabella is a fascinating painting. Even more fascinating is to know that John Millet painted it when he was only 19 years old. This is the artist's first important painting. John Millet was an English painter of the Victorian era and was one of the founders of the Pre-Raphaelite Brotherhood, which was founded at his home in London in 1848. The Pre-Raphaelites were a group of English painters, poets, and art critics who were intent on reforming art by rejecting what was considered a mechanistic approach, initially adopted by the artists who succeeded Raphael and Michelangelo. This is where the name Pre-Raphaelite came from. The group sought to bring back the tendency toward abundant detail, intense colors, and the complex compositions of Italian Pre-Raphaelite art. These artists focused on painting themes of modern life and literature, often using historical costumes to present greater accuracy. Pre-Raphaelite era painters liked to do their work as precisely as possible and with intense attention to detail. I guess this reflects a lot on Isabella's painting, doesn't it? John Millet became a famous painter, exponent of the pre-Raphaelite style because of Isabella. However, he eventually moved away from this style in the mid-1850s to develop a new and powerful form of realism in his art. It turned out that this painting was a great first-rate hit. Besides Millet's young age, Isabella was the artist's first work from the pre-Raphaelite period, done soon after the Brotherhood was created in 1848. Both he and this painting were the first steps in this very important artistic movement. So, what did you think of this painting? Did the subtle details that predicted the barbarian act make you anxious? Maybe a little distressed? To me, it seems that from Lorenzo's expression, he already knew that he was in a complicated situation. Poor guy, what a tragic end. If you like this painting and want to discover more pre-Raphaelite paintings and other paintings related to tragic events and love stories with no happy ending, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the notifications to stay tuned for upcoming uploads. See you soon!